Hi everyone, I have got my second uh, clearance edit from Wanda. This one's the activewear, so I'm excited to check this out and see what maybe some goodies I have for up to 70% off if I keep all seven. I hope you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my returning subscribers, my viewers, thank you so much. Your loyalty means everything to me. I really appreciate that you take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. If you are new to my channel, I hope you click on that little red subscribe button over there and tap that notification bell. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always, always welcome and I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow and something about algorithms and things like that who knows but anyway today I am going to be doing another clearance edit from Wannable and they had sent out a, an email that I could get up to two clearance boxes so it would be 70% off if I keep all seven items the first one I got was just the regular style box this one is the active edit so I'm a little nervous about this one because I don't know what kind of things are in there but anyway um, if I keep one item it's 40% off if I keep all seven items I get 70% off there was still that $20 styling fee that pretty much is the same across the board so other than it being the clearance on um, how the Wannables work is of course if you use my link which it's, it's really really making me mad about this link thing but whether you use my link or you use somebody else's link the person whose link you use gets a $25 credit but the person the new person that's supposed to be getting enticed and welcomed into audible they don't get anything and I just I don't know that it just bothers me more than it should I suppose but I think in this day where you know every other box when you use somebody else's link you both get something and with Wannable you don't so that is just really it just rubs me the wrong way but anyway whether you use my link anybody else's link or you just go on the website and sign up you would be fill out a quick questionnaire you can either get like the uh, a woman style which I think is like um, up to the larger sizes a regular edit um, like I got where this one I came from and then the active edit um, you fill out of course that questionnaire to so they can kind of pinpoint your style you'd be assigned a stylist who's going to pick seven items for you um, if you pick five or more you get 20 percent off um, you can re only keep what you you want um, you return uh, anything that you don't want you can always exchange if they have your size available for a smaller or larger size returns and shipping both ways are always free you do have a choice to go between the United States Postal Service or UPS. And I think that's it. They also have a stream that they have on their website so that you can kind of go in and you can request certain items from that stream or you can decline them knowing if you see something that it's something you never want to get in your box. You can decline that and that kind of helps your style as kind of pinpoint your style as well. And then this thing they, they do have is pretty unique and pretty cute. Whoops, all my paperwork fell out is that they have uh, your name imprinted on a sticker so it says styled for Nancy and let's take off the burrito and again this one is the active edit so it's gonna well it doesn't look like they're anything really skimpy so I'm happy about that and there's always one side that looks neater than the others so anyway this one's an active edit so it's going to be some exercise some athleisure wear maybe um, going to get your your goodie box here so um just get the little explaining about the clearance the back is also a ups label the envelope i believe is going to have a ups label on it but if you want to go with ups you just put that one in place of it again returns exchanges are always free again it's going to tell you how you can choose so I mean I think this is if you don't want say the postal service to deliver your box you can sign up to have UPS do it it tells you what to do about referring a friend using the steam the stream and it explains the different kind of edits 
and this is specifically for the clearance edit just uh, explaining how the discount works and again explaining how the discount works and I lost the one that has my items I'll be right back how did I lose it already I dropped it on the floor but anyway in case you lose your paperwork like I just did it's always on the outside of the box as well too um, what you do do next and returns and exchanges things like that and in the one that has this on the back it's going to have your note to the stylist and it looks like I have a different stylist this time I have Nia so I've had three different stylists so far but maybe the uh, and that is just my my note about my account and then on the order for the active wear the back of it has the items that are in the box the sizes the prices the colors and it would be an expensive box it would be five hundred dollars seven cents if I were to keep everything in the box remember I would get a 70 percent discount so that would be three hundred fifty four dollars and ninety cents off uh, bringing it down to one fifty two ten I already paid the $20 styling fee, which would make my total $132.10 for seven pieces. So 70% off, it's definitely worth a try. Um, you know, if you ever get that email, then it's, it's a good way to try it and see if it's for you. So anyway, I'm going to do a quick try on and I'll be right back. Well, you know that went better than I thought it was going to go and my mirror didn't laugh at me at once we actually shook hands when I finished trying everything on and we are on good terms so anyway I was I was pleasantly surprised I think um, Nia she did a fabulous job and when I held it up I don't know if you got to uh, read what I wrote in my notes but um, okay so it just said I am not fond of sports bras Although I love the strappy details, at my age, they just get compressed to pancakes, not flattering, so please don't send. I also don't like capri style, just regular length leggings. I prefer darker colors and prints like black, dark purples, burgundies. And did she listen to me or did she listen to me? I mean, I have got no capris. The leggings were perfect. I didn't get any strappy type things. I didn't get anything that, you know. So anyway, I it's like she really listened to me and I, I really appreciate that so anyway the total of everything was five hundred and seven dollars if I keep it all it's three hundred and fifty four dollars ninety cents off so it's a hundred and thirty two dollars and ten cents for seven athleisure wear items and I think that is a remarkable price there are two items that went 
weren't really my favorites but when I quick did the math in my head it would come because then I would only get a 60% discount and I think it was like 150 160 ish so if I keep the other two it's cheaper so we might have to go that route so let me know what you think I and I had to change my pajamas on I am loving these pajamas yeah and I got my mutlucks on and you know if I keep doing things like this I don't even need to exercise I just got to work out doing that but anyway some of the the details in these um, are really nice so the first item here is the uh, side pocket the perfection leggings in gray size small these are from electric yoga they would be $72 so what you you didn't get to see when I tried it on is they do have side pockets that are a mesh but I think it's deep enough to maybe hold your cell phone maybe an emergency Kleenex or two because you know I got that drippy eye and it's got a little bit of mesh right in here just a little bit on both sides right there on the other side so I like the color I mean they're uh, a dark like a steel gray I thought they were really nice I thought they look nice on they're very comfortable so I am loving these the next item kind of scared me so the back of this says jet Jade and Jude and my god look how tiny these are so these are the fire leggings in black size small there these would be $84 there is no detail on these. They're a, they're a nice, they're a heavier weight, just a straight legging. But man, oh man, these stretch like nobody's business. They hold you like no one's held you in a long time. But, you know, when you go to go like this, it doesn't look like they're going to stretch. But, wow, they pack a punch for being this little. The only trouble I had with them is I could get them on fine. But when I went to get them off, my feet did not want to go backwards through these. So it was a little bit of work to get them off, but once once you get them on, they are comfortable. And yeah, just surprising. The next pants are the Fina Asymmetrical Leggings in Black Onyx, size small by Luca Lux. These would be $98. Yeah, $98. So 70% off. These have my name written all over it. So they have some really cute details like right here I, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a leather look but it's soft uh, it's no meant like a raincoat type leather that kind of material so it's got some there and then on this leg too it's got got it right here around the knee and then this part is like a mesh all the way around on that leg the other leg is different so it's got like that whatever material that is right there and then this kind of ruffled material kind of like a moto style that they had a few years ago maybe kind of texture but it's not see-through and again just very very comfortable uh, I wouldn't want to pay $98 for them but I don't mind $98 and 70% off the next item was not one of my favorites but again I think it's cheaper to keep the whole thing and it is this Cleo Terry hoodie in Heather Heather Gray, size small. It's by Paper Label, and it would be $78. So it's kind of like a, well, they call, they call it, it's like a soft terry knit. It's got shorter sleeves. It's got like the drop shoulder, so it's not really a dolman, but it's like a drop shoulder, so it's got a different kind of fit. It's got the hood. It's got a kangaroo pocket. Just a little bit of a high-low. Not too much. Again, not my favorite, but if I were the type that, now that I got some cute clothes, I might have to work on my um, social skills. And if I do go, if I ever did build up the nerve to go to my friend's wife's kettlebell or kettle, kettle metal, kettle, some, some kind of something you do with kettles. I don't know. I think this over a tank would be great because then if you start to get overheated and you still got the tank on, so something like this might work. But again, not really my favorite, but... It's cheaper to keep it, right? This next item is the training jacket and insignia blue size small by shade active and it would be $88 and it's a nice shade of blue and it is cinched at the waist so when you unzip it, it sucks on your waist like a corset. Yeah, I like that. So that looks nice. It had the thumb holes. It's got deep pockets in the front and it's got this little trim right here 
the back has a, just a little bit of mesh right here and it does zip and at first I thought it had some really nice pockets in front on the inside and it's on both sides so you can see it's deep like this I mean I can fit my whole hand in so you could fit you know your cell phone in here but what's strange is okay so I got my hand all the way in right but then look and that's on both sides it's not you know so it's not sewn there so I don't know if it, you can sew it or if you do try to sew it if it would maybe pull you know because it's stretchy so that's odd to me that's odd maybe there's a reason for it for wires or something maybe but um, anyway I think a cell phone would fit in there um, if you had like a large change purse or something like a credit card holder or a bill holder I think that would fit and not fall out but I wouldn't want to put my keys in there and worry about them falling but anyway this I thought was kind of cute and I like that it kind of cinched you in right there yeah so this again this one was again this one wasn't my favorite so this is the Lauren T in golden size small from another love this would be $34 and it's just a pretty shade of yellow. I'm not really a yellow person. It's got that little bit of mesh right here in the V. And then over the shoulders, it's got that mesh too. And then I think what makes it not really me is that little slit in the back. But again, if I keep it, it's cheaper to keep it. So I don't know. So uh, I guess wearing around the house for if I was exercising, it wouldn't be bad. It is a nice soft material that breathable material and if i were going to buy it 34 dollars isn't bad but anyway let me know about that and this last item is by chaser and if you can't like boxes from like transcend and ever eve you know that chaser is a nice brand it's just very very soft material it's got this um I don't know if you, I'm going to call it binding for lack of a better word, but the uh, trim around the neck and the armholes. Uh, it is a deep kind of U, but I don't think it's that, that low that it's kind of like, ooh, don't do that. But it's uh, the Recycled Jersey Double Scoop Tank and Cherry Bomb, size small by Chaser. This would be $53. It's got the rounded hemline. I think it looked nice, nice on. It is shorter than just a regular tank, but I think for exercise wear or just athleisure wear, it's fine. I liked it with the blue jacket as well. And again, so I am leaning towards keeping everything. So let me know your thoughts on that. And again, $507, 70% off. So that's $354.90 right off the bat. I already paid the $20 styling fee, so $132.10 for this. So let me know your thoughts. Um, I would gladly do another clearance edit. Maybe not like two clearance edits in a regular edit in a row, but I'll, I will definitely look forward to doing that again. So anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me, and I hope to chat with you soon. And I would love to read your comments, and I hope you give this video a thumbs up. We'll chat again soon, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a great night. I wish I could find that button better.